I'm not an outdoorsy person at all either. Like you will never find me camping ever. It was pretty rugged. It was pretty much like what you see is, is very much like what we were going through. Melissa, good to see you again. How are you? Good to see you, Dave. I'm good. How are you? I'm just so proud of you. I mean, obviously, we've talked Scream in the Heights. And now this movie, uh, this series, rather, I couldn't turn it off. The physicality, the exterior shots. How rugged was this to get done? It was pretty rugged. It was pretty much like what you see is is very much like what we were going through. It was that's it was beautiful because. You know, I did a lot of training beforehand. I did a lot of underwater training. I got scuba certification. I did cold water training because I had to get my body used to the cold temperatures in the lake because the water was freezing. It's a, it's a glacier lake. And, and I did a lot of that. But it was also just long days by myself with the crew in the middle of the woods. Um, and it was, it was probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, job I've ever had you know it was challenging every day and and even though I read the scripts you know like I read the scripts and I fell in love with them and I was like this is a challenge like I know it's going to be challenging I want to do this um but it was harder than I expected it was it was you know it was a lot of them being like okay uh try to build a shelter go and they would just let me they would just shoot me for like 10 minutes trying to like figure out something out. So a lot of the frustration and things that you see are very real because we had, that was the beauty of the show. We had the time to be with the character. So they had the time to shoot me and to let me live in the situation. How different of an acting experience was it? A lot of the scenes, most of the scenes are, it's just you. And you've kind of alluded to that when you were talking about that. I didn't know about the whole thing about the compass and I'm not ruining anything, but I, I actually learned something. I'm like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, yeah. And I'm not an outdoors person, but you know, as far as the acting experience, though, most of the scenes you're just by yourself. How different was that as far as the mindset goes? It was very different. It was very different. Um, it was also super liberating. Like it was nice to, to just be and to, and, and, you know, Maggie Kylie, our director for the first three episodes who I adore was such a great partner on this with me. And, and, she would just kind of let me be in the moment. And, and it was, it was just, it was beautiful. I also learned a lot. I also didn't know about the compass. I didn't know all the things that I know basically now are because of this show, because I'm not an outdoorsy person at all either. Like you will never find me camping ever. Um, but this show gave me a lot of love for the outdoors. You know, I fell in love with, with it after being in it for so long. I quit the Boy Scouts because they took us on a camping trip and it started raining. And I said, uh-uh, this is not for me. <laughs> and that's, I've never, I've never That sounds like camping. me. That I've sounds like me. Camping. Yeah. I'd be uh -uh. the same. No. And no. so I quit and no. And so I've never been camping myself. And I think after watching this though, I was like, you know, maybe I'll give it a second thought. All right. It's in the descriptive. It's uh, trailers to show it. Uh, I So I'm not ruining anything, but I want to ask about filming the crash scene. Uh again, the intensity, you know, what, what, what were you feeling? How difficult was that to shoot? What can you say? It was, it was, uh, it was really cool because they built a rig that was kind of like a, like a ride at Universal Studios, you know, like it was like a roller coaster. They put the plane on, uh, hydraulics. And so, it, it would like shake like that and shake. And so we were in there and it was, we were, you know, it felt very real and, and it was, you know, it was great that we, that we got that and we shot it and it was, it felt really intense, you know, like I've never, I'm not afraid of flying. I know a lot of people that are afraid of flying. I've never been in a situation like that on a plane. Thank God. You know, like I've never been in like really bad turbulence never had like one of those like pockets of air where the plane drops that a lot of people have experienced. I've never experienced any of that. So being in there and trying to get in the mindset of like, this is a person that is not the greatest at flying, you know, she doesn't love flying. So she's already a little nervous. And then having that happen 
And it just, it, it was, it was terrifying. It was terrifying. And even though we were like, it was green screen, you know, like we didn't, we weren't actually like seeing anything. It still was so thrilling. And that, that thing, that rig that they built was so helped us a lot, you know, to be able to showcase that. Thank you for sharing that. Melissa, great to see you again. Uh, Scream 6, we're going to talk in person, I hope, uh, because I'd love to see you again. And uh, yeah. you're, you're amazing. This is great. Congratulations to you. You did a Thank you so much, job. Dave. Thank you. And right. say hello to Take your care. mom. Thank you. I will. Mom, I think she's around somewhere. Mom, there she is. She heard us. Hey, <laughs> mom. Bye. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.